Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool refrigerator ice auger. It's going to be a very easy repair and show you take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get this notice saying that all the parts in the kit have to be used. You're going to get the new washer, a new drive cup, and the new ice auger. The ice auger is located inside the ice container, and it's what pushes the ice cubes out to the dispenser. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's corroded or damaged. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the freezer door. Now that we have the freezer door open, we can get the ice door out of the way. All you have to do is lift it up and slide it back. Then we can lift the ice arm up, turn it off so it doesn't get hit by the bucket when we pull it out. To get the bucket out, we're just going to lift up on it and then pull it all the way out. Now that we have the assembly out of the freezer, we can set it down on a towel so we can work on it without damaging anything. Then we're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to take out all the screws that holds the ice container on. Once you have those three out, we can spin the assembly around so we can take out these that go all the way around the edge. Now we can remove the screw that holds the connecting rod to the back of the ice container. Once you have the rod off, we can lift the ice container off the assembly. Once you have the ice container off, you can separate the two pieces. Now we can take the drive cup and the sleeve off. All you have to do is lift this up and pull this off, and we're going to set those two aside. Then we can lift the auger out of the cover and set the cover aside. To get the E-clip off, we're just going to lift up on it with the screwdriver. Jab it off, you can pop it out. And we can get the washer off. You have to, you can push on the auger so it comes out a little bit. You can grab it. And then we can separate the auger assembly from the cover. Now we have to take the auger teeth off. You may want to take a picture of this. It's a bunch of little spacers and all the auger teeth so you know where everything goes just in case something happens. We're going to take some rubber bands and hold everything together so we can kind of pull it off all as one piece. Now that we have the rubber bands on, we're going to use a 9 16 inch wrench to take the nut off on the end of the auger. It's reverse thread, so it's going to be clockwise to loosen it. Once you have it loosened, you should just be able to unscrew it with your hand. Once you have the nut off, you can take off this first washer. It's not going to be held in by the rubber bands. Also, this last washer is not going to come with it, so we're just going to have to take that off separate too. Once you have it off, you want to carefully set this assembly aside so it doesn't fall apart. And then we can take this last washer off and set it aside. Once you have that last washer off, we can pull the ice auger support off and set the auger aside. Now that we have the ice auger support off, we can swap the parts from the old one to the new one. Here's the old ice auger next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. They do give you a notice saying that the service kit, you have to replace all the parts that came with it. If you have this exact style of ice auger already with less curves in it, 
then you can just swap it right out. Ours is the older style one that has a sleeve on it, so we're, we're not going to reuse that. And on our drum, we have a metal support that we have to take off because we can't use it on the new auger. So we're going to leave these two, and we're going to take the metal piece out, and then we can put the new ice auger together. We're just going to put the new washer on. You have the washer all the way down. We're going to put the drum back on. You want to make sure you put it on the same way you took it off the old one. Once you have the drum on, we can grab the drive cup and the auger and put them in. First thing we're going to do is put the auger support on. And then we can put on the first of the spacers. Then we can carefully grab the ice crusher teeth and we have to line up the flats on the auger with the openings on them and push it all the way through. When you're putting this assembly on, you want to make sure that this pin is lined up with the hole right here so it goes into the cover properly when you put that together. And then we can put the last spacer and the nut back on. Remember it's reverse threads, so it's counterclockwise to tighten it down. Once you have the nut on there, we can tighten it down a little bit with our 9 16 inch wrench. It's only plastic, so you don't want to tighten it down too much and break it. Just get it snug. Once you have it tightened down, we can get ready to put the cover on. We're just going to turn this over so this is on the bottom. And then we're going to take the rubber bands off the teeth. All you have to do is pull them off. Then we can grab the cover and put it on. You want to make sure that the block here goes into the opening right here as you slide it in. Once you have everything together, we can lift it up so we can put the washer and the E-clip on. All you have to do is set the washer in place and then we can put the E-clip on and slide it into the groove. Once you have that on, then we can put the crusher assembly into the front cover. All you have to do is set it down inside the cover and line up the holes. Now that we have the ice crusher assembly into the front cover, we can put the drive cup in. Just have to line it up and set it into place. And then we can put the actual ice container on. All we have to do is set it down into place over the auger. Once you have the container in place, we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put all the screws in. Once you have the three done on the inside, we can turn it around and do the ones on the bottom. Then we can put the spring and the bracket back on the connector bar. We're just going to lift the spring up and then line the bracket up so the hole's on this side. And then you're going to have to turn it and then turn it again and then put it over the mounting spot. Once you have the hole lined up, we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screw in. Once you have the screw in, we have to put some tension on the spring. We're going to have to wrap it around so this seats in its spot right here on the mounting spot. 
Then we're going to wrap the spring one more time around the connector bar and hook it on so it gives some tension on the connector bar so that when you move it back and forth, the ice deflector opens and closes. Once you're sure you have it working, we can put the ice container assembly back in the freezer. To put the ice container in, all you have to do is line it up on the rails and push it all the way back in. Once you have it all the way in, you can turn the ice maker on and then pull the ice door closed. Then we can close the freezer door, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.